Gina, I, I can so relate. My boyfriend said that when I went into rehab, he would stop, you know, but I, I think he's still using. When I try to talk to him about it, he just denies it. He says, I don't know what we're going to do, you know? I mean, he's got this really good job, and I have the, the kids. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, we're taking up a collection to help Austin get back on his feet. You heard about the fire, right? Yeah. Well, each of us is going to do a trick for him today. How about it? You in? Sure. I'll just pull a rabbit out of my snatch. You got something to say to me, Emily. Say it. You won't give any money for Austin, but you'll spend it on that sick little girl act of yours. Do you think I give a shit? You think I give a shit what you think of me? <laughs> Let me tell you something. If some asshole wants to fuck a little girl, well, I would just soon it be me and not his 10-year-old daughter. Carol called. She's worried about you. We are all worried about you. John, are you two okay? Yeah, Noreen, we're fine. Okay, you and Carol have been together. How long? Uh, you know, we've been dating six years. John, you two live together. Well. You want my advice? Wine her. Dine her. Take her in your arms, be, be gentle, be rough, but for God's sakes, John, get down on your knees and ask Carol to marry you. Her bipolar disorder is getting worse. I could have told you that myself. She's having more and more of these psychotic episodes. And her mood swings? They're out of control. One minute, she's... She's so excited. It's like she's going to Disneyland or something. And the next minute, she's so sad she can't stop crying. It breaks my heart to see her so depressed. And when she's manic, she gets so 